and hello once again and today we're going to be taking a look at the Cooler Master Master Fan MF140 Halo and this is basically a replacement fan for my PC case which I've had nine years I don't want to replace the case because it's a good case I do need to replace the rear fan so now the fan is nine years old so it is starting to wear out and so I thought, well, this looks like a promising fan. I got it at a good price. Um, I think they retail for about £15 and something. I didn't pay that much. I got it cheaper from Amazon Warehouse. Now, obviously, we're at Amazon Warehouse. You know, they're damaged, sort of superficial boxes. They have, but I don't care about the box. All I care about is the contents, what's inside. So I'm... I don't mind paying a little bit less. Because what are you going to do with the box? Throw it away. So, so basically, this is an RGB fan. I thought that's fair enough. I thought my thinking was it would just plug into the header on the motherboard like the other one. No problem. No, 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 no. It's not like that at all. It needs its own... Um, connection to power the LEDs, the RGB, known as a RGB, and that is not available on my motherboard. It's got the four pins for light, lighting strips and things like that, but no, this requires a three pin a RGB connector, which my motherboard don't support. So I had to buy an additional thing, so it does. Right. So here we are, so here is it, it's 140 millimeter, so that'll go straight in the back. So here's the box, okay, and unfortunately look what Amazon's done. Yeah, so you can't see the specs. So let's take it out of the box, because everybody seems to like unboxing videos. Here you go, it's unboxed, well not quite, so there we go, now it's unboxed. So here's the fan. Looks looks very nice. It's got quite a weight to it, so it's a it's definitely a qual a quality fan. So here's the connections. So there's your four pin that goes into your um, motherboard header. So that control that controls the speed of something. To do, I think the temperature and all that. If it gets too hot, it speeds up the fan and all that. So that's got nothing to do with the LED. So as you can see, it's a four pin. So there, there's the. That's, this is what controls the LEDs. So this is the free pin. So this is all new to me. So there's probably experts out there that if you want to consult for RGB lighting, consult them. Don't consult me because I'm absolutely new to this. So here we've got something else that's covered up. So it is the free pin. So it, I'm only guessing this is a pass through. So if you want to connect additional fans up, you can just connect them to that. And it, you, um, I, this is what I'm guessing, because I can't read the instructions, because it's all... Oh, look, it's got instructions here, with additional in this bag. So what do we get? Well, that explains that. Yeah, don't really tell you a lot, does it? Right, so let's see what else we get. So we get this which I'm guessing, if you connect two fans, if you connect more fans together, this sort of um, goes on there and holds it together better. That's what I'm assuming. That seems to fit in there. I think you... Do you pull that back? Or does that go there? Ah, that goes there, look. So, just say... Oh, I can't get it out. This is a good review, isn't it? So, just say, for argument's sakes... You've connected two fans. Don't connect them two together. If I can do this. So that goes, connects. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. I'll just do it. Right, let's just put those. Oh, really hard to see. There you go. Oh, no. So going in. You've got to make sure the two arrows are. Oh, this is really difficult. Here we go. Has I done it? No, I haven't. Oh. Here we go, is that right? Oh, here we go. 
that's correct so then you put that thing on in there just say you've got two fans together that stops them from coming apart that's good but we don't want to do that so we take those apart but don't do that whatever you do also comes with four case screws so you can screw them to your um, case it comes with oh, this so maybe if you got two like that I think you put them together I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming I don't know nothing about it so you're gonna have to consult proper RGV videos if you wanna I'm just reviewing the fan for what it is you know I will give a demonstration of the fan right so this is the cooler master I'm worried about this actually because it's hardly spinning round now I'm, I'm, I'm hoping because this is a four pin fan and this motherboard might be not giving it enough power look that's a bit worrying but I'm going to connect the RGB if I can there we go so that's the RGB connected and it's very very bright very nice so let's go through some of the cycles looks rather nice actually I'm just hoping that spins a lot quicker than that. Oh, it stopped. <laughs> I'm, I have to try this on my main computer just to make sure it spins okay, because that is a bit worrying. But certainly nice and colourful, going through the cycles. Yeah, look at that. That looks rather nice. So I'm just hoping that spins better in my in my proper computer but it looks rather nice I like that yeah so colors are very nice indeed so yeah so I'm happy with that as long as if that spins better in the case that's what I'm worried about it's spinning but it's struggling Yeah, so the hub's doing its job. The um, the controller's doing its job, and all the fans are spinning, including that one. I'm gonna leave that little one out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.